One way to explore how waves combine when they're mixed together is using a free software program called Audacity. You can download it for free at audacity.sourceforge.net. One of the things Audacity will let you do is generate a tone. For this exercise, I suggest that you use the sine waveform, use 0.1 as your amplitude, and use duration about 5 seconds. Here you can see it generates a tone. Let's play that back. That's a 100 hertz sine wave. You can zoom in by going over here, zoom out, and then you can add extra tracks, like so. Tracks add new audio track. There will be a shortcut here. It's different in Windows and Linux, but on the Mac it's Shift-Command-N. Then you can select this track and generate another tone. In this case, let's do a 1000 hertz sine wave. If you want to actually see what this looks like when they're mixed together, you can do a mix and render. So first you want to choose Select All, or hit the shortcut, Command A, Control A on Windows, and go to Tracks and choose Mix and Render. Now you'll see, if we zoom in we can see it accurately, there is the wave with both of them merged together. Here are a couple experiments worth trying. Add several tracks, and on each one of them, generate a tone with a multiple of the same number. So in this case, let's start with 100, then we'll go to 200, next one we'll do 300, next we'll do 400, And finally, 500 and listen to the result. You can also listen to each of the individual tracks, and if you're a musician, you'll recognize the musical intervals. Those form a chord. If we mix these together and inspect visually the result, you'll see that it creates a perfectly repeating pattern. Next, try taking a bunch of tracks and put in random numbers that are not mathematically related. So let's try 170 to pick something at random. 1,111 numbers between about 100 and about 2,000 are probably going to give you the best results. 384. 511, 205. Let's listen to this. It doesn't sound particularly pretty. The other thing you'll notice is if we mix these together, the resulting waveform, you'll see it is not periodic. It's, it doesn't repeat the same exact pattern over and over. It looks much more chaotic, and that corresponds with how it sounds. It's very interesting in that our ears here as belonging together, tones that have a mathematical relationship.